Welcome back. Here we are at the entrance to the ruined town. Um, we're pretty bad shape, actually. If we look down down at the bottom. We can see uh, we're pretty much um, the white area is wounds. So half our health has been you didn't run like taken me. up by uh, wounds. Sword in his hand. It's the bailiff, obviously. Oops. No, I didn't mean to do that. He's got nothing on him. Yo, I put the um, counter in the top a left hand corner for the uh, the frames so you can see what's what. Uh, we're getting around about 60 frames which is not bad actually. Bandage, we'll take that. We are actually over encumbered so we've got to be careful. This guy's got a sword. Shard. He's got carrot and we'll take his groschen. Um, what we maybe need to do is drop some weight. We are very heavy. What? What? What do we have, which is a leather jerkin? Um, that is incredibly heavy, but we're wearing that and it's giving us a little bit of protection. Um, this is pretty bad shape. The bludgeon's in bad shape, so we can uh, drop that. Um, the torch, we can get rid of that. The cabbage, yeah, we'll get rid of those 10 cabbages. Uh, we're coming down to our weight limit now. We'll keep our shirts. The roast duck would be useful. Uh, we're slightly overeaten at the moment. Uh, let's get rid of these radishes. There we go. We've got so much veg fruit and veg on us. Um, we don't know what to do. Right. We've got shard. Now let's have a quick look. That is... Oh, uh, minimum agility we need is three. We've only got minimum of um, two at the moment. So we're going to stick with the Saradzig sword, which is minimum strength of one, which... Um, <coughs> It's probably it's part of the story, isn't it? It allows you to um, have a weapon at this early stage. Wow, look at this! Frames are taking a bit of a hit as we come through there. Bread and apple. Is that one of our friends? We don't know. Oh, it's all burnt and charred. I'm trying to remember what this. Oh, look, they hung a couple of people from the uh, the beams of that roof. Oh, jackpot. Um, nine groschen, salami, salt, and dried meat. Happy days. Thank you, sir. You've been an absolute godsend. There's nothing more there. Uh, I'm wondering, as we got... Uh, when he starts recognising people, he recognised the bailiff, will we get more... Oh, I've already done him. More little um, narratives. Oh. Dead horse. You stood by your side and he did this to you. In the end, you were a hero. You didn't run away. You didn't abandon them like me. Okay, there's a lot of regret there. Okay, well, um... We're, we're um, pretty heavy as it is, so we're only picking up really good loots. Um, let me check out these guys. Things like weapons and stuff, which are high price. It's like the same with all these games, when you get, um to a point you need to make sure that the item you're picking up uh, weight put against cost is uh, is worth it lots of fruit bread oh this is Bianca not you it wasn't supposed to be you Bianca I'll find the bastards that did this to you. I'll find them. I swear it. Just wait a moment. I'll take care of my parents, and then I'll come back for you. I won't leave you like this. I'll be anchor. Your little red shoes, or blood soaked shoes. But she's got some saver snaps on her, bless her. And Bianca's ring, what's this? The ring you gave to Bianca. Minimum strength zero, okay. Um, it gives us a. A noise, charisma, and it's got a value as well. Okay, we'll take that. Thank take you, Bianca. This is a keepsake to remember you by, my dearest. Let's pop that on, shall we? Let's, let's honour Bianca, and uh, we'll wear that. Good stuff. Have a moment's thought. We'd better move on. So the, uh, Oh, yeah, this was the pub, wasn't it? So uh, we can come into the cellar. Anything... Anything to loot down here? No. 
the houses have all been sort of smashed, and all the uh, the doors have been blocked with uh, fallen debris and rubble. Just out of matter of interest, is oh that house looks relative Deutsch's house looks relatively okay, doesn't it? Obviously, it's still got the poop that we threw on it last time. Oh, we can't get in again. The doorway's been blocked by lots of uh, junk. Uh, one thing I have noticed is that apples will actually heal you a little bit. The only problem is we are slightly gluttonous at the moment, so um, let's uh, eat an apple. See, it's got a healing quality. Uh, it's, not, it's not a lot, but um, you can see the uh, the wound slowly decrease, and we are getting more and more full, though, and greedy, or the little pig symbol, which means uh, we will get, take a bit of a debuff, but uh, it's worth it. Uh, so there's Bianca. Let's just search these guys. We'll see if we can f see any more friends or uh, anyone else that we know. Mum and Dad are going to be around here soon, so... Oh, let's we'll try to burn some of the corpses. Dried mushrooms. First, I have to find the shovel and, and take care of you. I remember you told me you wanted to lie beside Mother. Here, under the linden tree. At least I can do that much for you. Okay. Find your parents. Achieved. There they are. Find a spade. We're going to take our parents' money. It's better that we get our parents' money than um, anyone else. Okay, they seem to be one item. He's got a carrot and some black bread. And we're just going to quickly uh, scour through these guys just for any money or anything nice. These are peasants, so I'm not expecting anything much more than uh, fruit and veg. But you never know. We're pretty much inventory full as well, so it's going to have to be something special to be picked up. Oh, old boots. Let's um, let's have a quick look at those. We'll pick those up and we'll compare and contrast in a second. Do you recognise any of these? It's not an old lady. Okay, these aren't lootables anymore. Uh, let's have a quick look at those boots, see if they're any good. Um... So, uh, these are the boots we've got, and they're the same boots, but a little bit worse for wear. So, actually, we've got a bit of inventory space, and they're worth a few pennies or groceries, so we'll keep on for the moment. Uh, let's come in here, see if we can get a spade. Now, they were 
mucking out over here, weren't they, earlier? So they may have... Um, Oh dear. Do you have a spade? It's not looking likely. Let's go and have a look at the uh, up at the castle. See if we can get in there. Obviously they've, they've, they've left. Oh, I jumped into the... Uh, I meant to jump up, but we ended up just jumping into the uh, the wooden barricade there. So if we come up here... No, we can't get down it. I was hoping we could get into the castle, but it seems like they're blocking our way. And that's fine. I'm guessing this is probably going to be just a um, a dead zone now. Here's the forge. Anything worth pinching here? Pinching it. Yeah, it's fam our family own it, so it's... Uh, yeah, it looks like it's been completely looted. Got some um, clothing and stuff there can't get into the shed so this is the linden tree and where do they oh there's an axe can we get the axe no this is a good place you're gonna like it here yeah okay we're gonna bury them there nothing let's go into the house and check out oh they're taking all the food well they would wouldn't they I've got a bit of cabbage in there but I'm, I'm gonna leave that I'm uh, not really up for um, a whole load of cabbage but obviously the other army took that because that's good food for the army. Um, there's nothing in that chest. Where was the other chest? It was in this corner, wasn't it? Ah, here it is, yeah. Right, let's have a go at lockpicking. So you've got to find the zone. There it is. And then uh, rot rotate. Unlocks. Nice. Um, Groshen, Groshen, Groshen. There's a lot of dosh in this ba big bad world. Okay, we'll take that. How much is there? 7.3. Nice. Henry's beta dice. A uh, playing die that Henry secretly made to bring him luck in love. That's why he rather not gamble it with it. Okay. Not sure what that is. And a strength book. Hercules and his diet. Nice. Being able to read was a very rare skill in the Middle Ages, and a common blacksmith's son certainly wouldn't have been literate. You can open the book and try to make sense of the glyphs, but in the end you'll have to find somebody who can teach you at least the basics of reading. Okay, we've actually got to go to school and learn to read. That's pretty awesome, actually. So you've learned about books and libraries. We've got, like, grapevines here, by the looks of it. Um, we don't appear to have a spade, though, so... Let's go down here see if there's any farms we can um, have a look and see if uh, we can do any looting. Now, um, what I'll do, when this game starts to open up and... Uh, oops, I was trying to walk up the, uh, the thing then and see if we can get in. No, we can't. Okay, fine. Um, once it opens up, then I'll probably be doing a lot of gaming offline. But still bring you back for some of the... Uh, interesting bits if you so wish uh, because they're a dog I'm in no fit state for a fight the farm down here it's coming from over there can't get in there Somebody there. Um, get our sword on standby. Let's creep and find out who that is. Get in there. Uh, 
Oh, it's it's here. We've already been here. Oh, and he's got a spade. Get away, you mutt! Get away, you beast! What's going on? It's Bishak. Bishak. What's name are you doing? He survived. What do you think I'm doing? Digging turnips? The beast just went for me. Isn't that Mutt the Butcher's? And isn't that body the butcher's? Yeah, that's him. What's that got to do with anything? Uh, he's protecting his master. I'd say the poor creature is standing guard over his master. You weren't trying to get to him, were you? What do you care what I'm doing here? What are you doing here? Uh, I want to bury my parents. What do we have? Um, I asked first. Let's go. I want to bury my parents. I need to bury my parents. So bury them and leave me be. What happened to Teresa? Uh, how did you get away? Lend me that spade. I have just. I ha have. I disturbed you looting. Um, so let's. So I'm to Teresa. Do you know what happened to Teresa from the mill? When I fled, the Cumans wanted to. They meant to violate her, and God knows what else. No, I don't know. What do I care? They probably raped her and killed her like all the others. Her misfortune. Right now, I've got to take care of myself. Um, how'd you get away? How did you manage to get away? How do you think? I ran. Oh, fair play. Um, let me, me that spade. I have to dig a grave, and I can't find another. What's it worth to you? I see you have a fine sword. I'll gladly trade you my spade for that. How a did you come by? Spade again? for a sword? Are you kidding me? Uh, I'll stick. <laughs> it's for Saradzik. We'll go my diplomat. Father for his diplomacy for first. It's my duty to deliver it to him. It's not for sale. Go right ahead. And dig that grave with your sword. See how that goes. And where will you dig it anyway? Here? You're not going to lay your parents in unhallowed ground, are you? Um, My father wants to be buried here. Father said he wanted to be buried here, and I can't take them to St. James's. God willing, later I can find a priest to consecrate the ground. Oh, that's part two of the quest, no doubt. Um, Have I disturbed you looting? I've interrupted you robbing the dead. Is that why you're so ill-tempered? You bastard. Haven't you got a shred of honour? And what of it? The butcher has no more need of coin. It's and true. now that I think of it, your sword would do me quite nicely as well. And seeing as we've already loosed him. It over without a fuss or <laughs> I can't really take the like higher the ground. Here. The only way you'll touch this sword is when I shove it in your guts. Yeah. Come here, you bugger. Oh, he's running fast, isn't he? I can't close on him. Come here. Oh, I've got business to take care of here first. Oh, he got oh, away. I wish to be gone from this place. But first, I must bury my parents. Right, where's our parents then? Where's that spade? The dog's gone. Here's the spade. One victorious spade. Where's the dog? Oh, there's the dog. Hey, boy. You right, Pooch? I'll just have a quick look, make sure he hasn't respawned anything on him. <laughs> I know it's. Oh, that's horrible, isn't it? It's horrible. Just stop somebody looting him and uh, make sure he's not going to come back. Right, let's go and bury Mum and Dad then and get Bianca in the grave as well. Dig a grave under the linden tree. Okay, let's go. And we'll be back for you in a moment, Mum and Pops. All well, the other guys, I'm sorry, you're just going to have to rot. And beaten by the uh, the wolves and the and the crows. It's just you know I'm only one man. I'm not a burying machine. Actually, how's our nutrition? Nourishment is uh, okay. We'll, we'll we'll go slightly. There we go. A bit more healing. I'm trying to. I know we've gone gluttonous, but a bit of a debuff. But so I want to get that. Um, 
wound healed up as quickly as possible. We've got some. You see, the icon on the left shows that it's a it's a torso wound. Um, but hopefully, a good night's sleep will also help that. Right, where are we going to do? Start digging here. We got a companion. Oh, that'd be awesome. Got dog meat, the companion. I hope dog meat is going to give us a quest to bury the butcher as well. We could be here all day at this rate. So. Let's get to it. Damn it all. How am I going to do this? Do you need some help? Uh-oh. Is that him? Yes. Can't you see the sword? Who are you? What do you want? Is Bishek? Who do you think we are? Franciscan brothers? <laughs> We're here to rob you of everything you've got. Oh, God. Especially that fine blade that's of no use to a peasant like you, anyway. Banish the thought. It is my father's sword. And he's got a massive club. You mean him? And we're outnumbered. I don't think he's going to be needing it anymore. Oh, here we go. Let's Listen put here, what boy. we've learned into action. You hand over that sword. I might just let you go. Voice acting is good, isn't it? You're in for a family reunion. You really don't want. Leave me alone. Tell him, Runt. I cut the bastard down. As you like. Could have just cost you a few teeth. Ah! Oh no. Oh my god, he's almost got me in one. Got him. Run some interference with these boys. I beg your pardon. We're, we're not in a good. Um, I'm afraid so. <laughs> Getting a couple of good hits in. Where's he going? You're dead. <laughs> Got not much uh, health to play with at this rate. Ow. <laughs> One shot. <laughs> Get him, Pooch. I told you how it would end. You should have listened to me. This is nice work. The chief is going to like it. It's new, isn't it? And now, for the maiden bloodletting. Surely your father never would have imagined it would be your blood. I believe there's a word for such moments. The old man would certainly know. Well, I'm just a common killer. 
Did you help make it? No doubt you did. Such miserable luck. To die by the sword you helped forge. Hey, go fuckers! <laughs> oh, it's Teresa. The games are over. Charge! Disperse this rebel! Oh, oh it's, a, it's a robot. God. I think that's the end of the tutorial. The completion of the prologue. It doesn't look good, so Robard doesn't look happy. Or well, is that the end of the game? Have we died? Okay, they buried mum and dad. Thanks, Teresa. Victoria Hogan. Okay, they're taking us, taking us back to Tamburg, probably. Robot of Tamburg. Brian Blessed. Great! Are you here? Gordon's alive! Brilliant. Can't wait for that. Oh, stunning, isn't it? Looks like the dogs come as well. Oh, the dogs stayed in. No, no, dogs still coming. We're we'll leaving Tamburg then. <laughs> the dog. Got a feel of like those kind of um, going out in the plains in America, you know, during the old Wild West days, doesn't it? The old frontiersman. Where are we now then? Coming to another castle. We haven't been here before. Big town. Massive town, look at that. Huge stone walls as well, so we can protect against the army. Oh, we're leaving town quite a bit. It's Captain Birdseye. Quest completed, homecoming. Okay, you can see we're healing. Uh, we're obviously sleeping, and we've got some sort of. Is this is a dream sequence. Oh, where are we? Oh, we got we got our sword. Gotcha. Oh, we're leveling up in the dream world. That is amazing. Got him. Can we? Uh, hunting sword, shield. Now we're just doing a little test to see if this is. They've thought of this and they um, they haven't realised that we can loot the dream world. This is this is a, this is a dream, isn't it? Or some sort of nightmare? Can we help these people? No idea where I am. Where the hell have I got to go? Is it, oh, there's an A on my compass at the top. Let's just head towards that. Oh, is the well? Oh, oh, this this is. Oh, this is where mum and dad were buried. 
or they were killed. Do you I need think. Some help? Is old Ray Winston? Flashbacks of the army coming. Out. Oh, is he related to old um, Baldy Locks? There, maybe. Ah, Scallets have seen better days. It's a new day. Henry, can you hear me? Hallelujah. I thought you'd never wake. Were you having a nightmare? Uh, yeah, we were. Teresa? And we want to see if we were able to uh, mm. loot our nightmares. I still have a fever. Enemies. Uncle won't be pleased, but you'll have to stay in bed. Where am I? In Scallets? We're at my uncle's mill in Rattay. I didn't know where else to Rattay go. Rattay or Ratty? What happened? You don't remember anything? I suppose that's not surprising. I found you in Scallets after those bandits attacked you. I thought they'd done for you. But you were still breathing. Why in heaven's name did you go back there? It was madness. They slaughtered everyone who didn't run. My parents, I... I wanted to bury them. I had to... Don't worry. I took care of it. Thank oh, you. thank you, Teresa. What a nice lady. Any good Christian would have done the same. Do you think there's going to be uh, some sort you of relationship building back. up here? A few delirious days later. This is so well put together for their You're first awake. game. Brilliant. Good morning. <laughs> it's near midnight. You've slept all day. Oh. oh, I feel like a horse fell on me. The beating you took was worse, but at least the fever's broken. Uh, how did you find me? How did you manage to save me? You were lucky. I was in Scallets and I saw Zbyshek and his thugs. I tried to distract them, but it would have been no use if those soldiers from Tamburg hadn't arrived. They were searching for you and scattered the bandits. They were looking for me? Uh oh. Searching for me? I'm in trouble. Yes. Lord Divish sent them, led by Captain Robard. So tell me, why is a lord of such high standing interested in a blacksmith? So well. Divish promised Sir Radzik he'd look after me. But as for why they should care, I've no idea. With the chosen one, clearly. Um, what were you doing in Scalitz? What in the world were you doing in Scalitz? Waiting to die. What? They killed my brothers, my family, my friends. They're all dead. All of them. Everyone I ever loved. They killed one of my brothers in the mines. After that, what did I have to live for? Don't say that. There's always hope. No, there isn't. But it doesn't matter. I'm a different person now. Wow. Poor Teresa. Oh, I'm exhausted. I'm not surprised. I'll bring you water and something to eat. In the meantime, rest. You're still very weak. And even later... Good morning to you. How's the invalid today? Oh, I haven't felt as good as this since they lashed me to the wheel and quartered me on the town square. Got your sense of humour back. You must be better. My uncle will be glad to hear it. I had a job persuading him to let me bring you here. If you'd lain around much longer, he really would have dumped you on the town square. You can stay until you find somewhere else to live, but my uncle will want payment for taking you in and caring for you. Uh, okay, how long have I been here? I've been lying here long enough. I misread uncle that will be completely. pleased he's one mouth less to feed. But are you truly well enough? Well enough to do what has to be done. Where can I find Sir Radzig? He's in the Lower Castle in Perkstein. He's a guest of Sir Hanish of Leiper. 
But someone like you can't just walk up bold as you please and demand an audience. I know, Sir Isaac. And I didn't bring him his sword as I was supposed to. I must see him. If you insist. But you need to speak to my uncle first. You've been in your sickbed for over a fortnight while he paid the apothecary to tend to you. And for medicine. That's a good deal of a coin you owe him. I've been lying here two weeks. My God. Better a fortnight in bed than an eternity in the grave. If it weren't for my uncle, you wouldn't be here at all. Wow, I owe you my life. I owe you both my life. And I'll repay my debt. You have my word. All right. But before you go to town, you should eat something. You're still weak. There's food on the table for you. Lovely. Thank you, Teresa. Right. Uh, Rate Mill is your new home. You can sleep here whenever you want and you have your own bunk here. A word with you, young fellow. Where were you? <laughs> you listening? Oh, he's off. Um, sweet pancakes. Oh, sweet, sweet pancakes. Objective, get father's sword back. Uh, find out who led the raid on your family. So, oh, what are these? Hang on. We found ancient maps, bandage. What are these ancient maps? Um, by virtue of fate and chance, I've come into possession of this curious drawing. I should find out where it points to and see what fortune bestowed upon me amid all its desolation. Um, okay, we didn't get the uh, the ghost. Unless... No, we didn't get the ghost tools. So we've got the keys, door keys, what are they for? Okay, and trunk keys. Okay, so this is our trunk, is it? Let's take it all. Let's take everything. Uh, find out who led the raid. How was our... Um, 15. Oh, we've got plenty of, plenty of stuff. Right, let's um, get some clothes on. Where's our... Did I put everything into here? I did. I did it the wrong way around. Take all. There we go. Anything left in there? No, good. Right. Now we're up to 70%. That's better. Okay. Um, shard. That is... Not quite... Um, let's put Bianca's thing on. Let's put a green shirt on. Um, we might hold off on those leather jerkins. Uh, they're, they're dirty. Let's put the clean boots on. Um, ordinary tarred jacket. That's all. That's destroyed. Patched hose. That's okay. Actually, that's nicer. Good. Okay. Um, let's put the, our armor because we're going to be doing some quests. I reckon talking to the miller and stuff. So let's put some stuff in here to free up some inventory space. Uh, let's pop that in there. Let's pop those in there. That's, that's, that's. Uh, we'll keep that out. Pop that in there. What, what was that? A war horse. They're the creators, aren't they? Um, let's get the weight up here. Let's put. We better eat that because the condition is going down. Put the schnapps in there. Put the wine in there. Put the cheese in there. We're probably better off selling that, actually, because these will just go off, won't they? Actually, we'll go into town and sell them. Um, Hercules and his diet. We can't read, so we might as well leave that in here for the moment. We'll. The maps are pretty much uh, no weight at all, so we'll pop that in there. We've got lock smear, uh, lock picks, salt. We'll pop in there. Door keys, groschen, Kunesh's keys. Who's Kunesh? Ah, oh, he's the um, he's the uh, drunkard we hit in the first one, wasn't he? God. So we've met so many people. Uh, it's it's gone so quickly, right? Uh, nourishment is down to twenty nine. So let's see that roast duck. Fifty five. Um, where's those pancakes? Sweet pancakes. There we go. It's coming up now. Bread roll. Eighty nine. Dried meat. Nice and a pretzel. 101 down slightly over okay that's good though it's only slightly over that glutton will uh, disappear in a minute can we have that scythe that'd be quite good um Teresa's miller uncle uh do you have any weapons for chance is that a, a wooden hammer there can we take the mallet no apparently not 
That's a nice lantern. I might come back. Ah, here he is. With you, young fellow. Miller Peshek. I'm Henry. Thanks for taking care of My me. My name's Henry. Thank you for taking care of me here. My name's Peshek, and I'm the Miller here. You've already met my niece, Teresa. She took care of you for two whole weeks while you were in limbo. And talking of you being at death's door, while you were lying here, you worked up quite a bill with the blood letter. Who came now and again to keep you alive with his potions? That quack doesn't come cheap. I paid him what I could, but I still, that is, you still owe him. I see. Well, it's better to be in debt than to lie dead in a ditch. What do I owe? I'm not afraid of hard work. You won't pay for that shoveling manure. I might have a better job for you. And it's not something any fool can do. If you prove to me you're a clever lad, I might trust you with something you could really make money from. What do you say? Ooh. Um, what do you, well, what would you do? need from me? A trifle. Just to take something from someone and bring it to someone else. And not get caught while you're doing it. That yeah, sounds okay. straightforward enough. Except for not get caught. Why would anyone want to catch me? Oh, don't worry. It's just a job like any other. Only this one requires, uh, let's say, the right moral disposition. Do corpses bother you? No honourable man should touch them. That's the executioner's job. Did you expect I'd give you a hoe and send you out to the fields? You can dig all right, but somewhere else. I want to know whether you're going to hide behind some stupid fucking scruples, or if you might be useful for more unconventional work. I was prepared we'll find for out. just about anything, but that's a bit much. But go on, tell me more. Listen, it's about this ring my mate Wojcik, the Kohelnitz Miller, had his eye on. Trouble is, they buried the ring by the gibbet, along with the villain they hung while he was wearing it. Jesus Christ. You want me to dig up a corpse, take a <laughs> ring from it, and give it to your friend in Kohelnitz? There's nothing sacred to you. Money first, morals later. That fellow is dead. He won't miss it. Whatever bleeding heart came up with the idea that it's disrespectful to disturb a corpse never read the Bible. It's still a human body. Only it's missing a soul. Why be disgusted by something created by God? Uh, we we are in debt. Although we did, I uh, have had a request not to be a criminal, stroke thief. Um, but I think I've already heard more than I need uh, to we'll know. Try and, um, You've got the tongue of the devil himself. Grey the lines you try a little hard bit. Enough, I bet you could justify sodomy with a goat. Watch your <laughs> mouth, boy. There's a shovel here around the mill somewhere. If there's any problem, come and see me. And here's something on the side to make you dig better. Thanks. I'll need it. I can't believe I've come to this. Digging up corpses. Oh, and uh, watch out for the executioner and his hounds. They're pretty savage. And I don't just mean the dogs. You can just throw them some meat. The dogs, that is. But the executioner? Well, don't vex him. Okay, dogs. Executioner. Right, let's find... Let's have a wash. And... Find this spade. Get, get this spade. Where's this spade, then? Um, so, yeah, we're going to have to go and uh, loot a grave, by the looks of it, just on this occasion to uh, pay some debts we owe. Um, got a nice little orchard here. By the river, though, this is lovely, isn't it? Eh? This is lovely. Let's get out of the river. I'm following the river. Um, we also need a weapon, would be useful. But um, let's have a look at the map, see where we are. So here, oh, here's the big old castle here in town, and we're just outside in the village. Uh, Rate, okay. So where's. Where's. Skel uh, Tamburg, Skelets. Oh, wow, it's quite a big map, isn't it? We're all the way down here. And that's the executioner, right. Gotcha. I'm half tempted to go back to Tamburg, see if we can get our horse back. Uh, now that the uh, the kind of the mission. Hi, Trees, have you seen a spade anywhere? Don't ask why, but. Um... Are you sure there's a spade around here, Miller? 
Oh, I better not pick his his uh, shed door. He might get angry. Um, that's the water wheel. Can't go in there. Hop down here. Oh, it's like the hay wain, isn't it? It's like um, constables painting of the hay wain. That's down in Suffolk, actually. That's not a million miles from me. Um, I've been there a few times on Flatford Mill. Beautiful area. Beautiful. Get a, you can hire a boat out and go down uh, down the river. Lovely way to spend a few hours. Um, some probably don't have a good clue what I'm talking about. That's fine. Where is this blooming spade? You'd think that all the tools would be in the shed or something, wouldn't you? But no. Uh, let's go and check on over here. We've got more cut wood. I don't actually think this is our. We're going into a neighbour's house now. It's their wood supply. Okay. The hell's this spade? Oh, it's right there. I have achieved the. F He's probably watched me going. He God, it's taken him twenty minutes to get a spade. For heaven's sake, I I'm not too confident on the uh, outcome of this. Where's the dog? That's the other thing. What happened to the dog? Uh, do we have any meat on us uh, for their dogs? Let's have a look. We've got some dried meat and salami. That that might that might do, won't it? That was off the butcher, the butcher's corpse in um, the other place. So uh, what is this? Oh, are these marks? No, they're not. Oh no, they're they're for drying hay on by the looks of it. Interesting. Right, uh, we'll come over to the... Oh, this is so beautiful. This game is so beautiful. And once you're out of the big jostling towns, it runs quite nicely at 60 frames a second. It's lovely. Let's kind of chat with this lady over here. Oh, she's... oh God, dog. <laughs> Made me jump. Townswoman. Uh, about Rattay. Um, is the Lord kind? Blah 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 blah. No, I'm not interested in that. Okay, we'll we'll do that another time. I'm I'm, I'm I'll do that offline, so you don't have to sit and while I learn all the facts and truth about various things. Um, let's see if we can cut through the woods and um, go straight to the executioner's hut. Look at this. Going through the uh, the woodland at steady 60 frames per second. That is wonderful. Uh, so yeah, this game you actually level up by using skills. So if we see any mushrooms or any flowers, uh, I just discovered Ratai apparently. Oh wow, look at all the um, the locations in there. That's pretty cool. And uh, we need to zoom out of the close map and go into. There's his hut, and he's got like a little small holding over here. Uh, let's cut through the woods then. Here's a mushroom. I keep. I mean, I've just done recording of um, Subnautica for the other channel, and uh, obviously I'm, I'm getting used to pressing uh, mouse button rather than. Um, can we not pick that? It looks like I pick up Bolopola. No, but no, apparently not. Mints. Let's pick up some mint. Oh, again. I know it says exactly on screen what I need to press, but muscle memory is telling me to uh, press left mouse button because of the other game I've just recorded to get all this mint. Now this will be... In oh, there we go. Herbalism has just reached a new level. So if we look at our skills, um, we've got a we've got a couple of perks we can. Um, so we've got a perk in um, main level. So we've got first aid. Let's bring up the info. Um, Ascentic, or Ascentic? I don't know how you pronounce that. Uh, you'll last thirty percent longer without food. But as soon as you get hungry, the effects will be 20% worse. Manly odour. When dirty, you'll have a 50% more charisma when talking to women. Mm. However, people will smell you a mile off, reducing your stealth skill by 30%. Ah, okay. Uh, your stamina will regenerate 20% faster at night, but 10% slower during the day. Okay. Uh, slightly increases the sight distance of fast travel, and also the chances of evading by 10%. Okay. Wanderer. You grew up in impoverished conditions, so comfortable... So comfort of beds is inverted for you. The worse the bed, the better you sleep. So they're the ones we've unlocked so far. Um, 
this would be quite a good one if we're going to talk to um, ladies. So let's, um, yeah, let's get that one. Nice. Let's close that down. And we got we got one in strength as well. So we've got Grave Digger. Carrying dead or unconscious bodies won't cost you any stamina, but they will burden you only half as much. Well, I don't really want to be doing that. Block an opponent's blows will cost you 30% less stamina. Oh, yes. That's the one. That's the one we're going to level up. Wonderful. Right, let's get rid of that. Uh, so we're main level 3, strength 2, agility 2, um, vitality 1, speech 3. And there's our rest of our stats. If we go to combat wise, we've got level 1 in sword. And we're coming up to level 1 in warfare as well. Skills wise, we've got level 1 in drinking. Nice. Level 1 in herbalism now, look at that. Nice. And level 1 in horsemanship. Level 1 in lockpicks. And that's it. Buffs, we don't have any. Reputation uh, is good in Scalits. It's, it's fair to medium in Ratai and Talmberg. And there are statistics. Good. Okay, let's press on. Uh, so we'll be picking everything up just to uh, get our, our skills up. And I'll be punching all the, all the um, fauna by the looks of it. You're just going to have to put up with it, I'm afraid. Right, I won't do any more because I know you'll get frustrated. Um... Oh, unless we come across something like that, like a mushroom. We'll have those. We can eat those, you see, so. Um, we've got a bit of... When do we take some damage? Because I've noticed we've got um, a little bit of uh, wounding on our, uh, our players' stats. So we don't have any... Uh, does any of these have... Uh, Healing, health, okay, we'll eat the carrot. It's got a small <coughs> healing. We'll just start trying to take that off. Right, anyway, sorry, I've been faffing around, haven't I? You probably just done, just get on with it, Taff. Here it is. This is his place. Let's um, regenerate our stamina just before we come in. There's his, uh, there's his earth toilet. I don't know why we look down there. It's quite a weird thing to do, actually. So, this is the executioner. We don't actually need to come here. He's got some pigs. Oh, look at these. He's got uh, the last of the Mohican pigs. Look at these. It's pretty cool. These is dogs. Hello. So, can we make friends by dropping... Um, the salami, for example. I dropped you some salami, look. It looks like... I know it looks like a... Um, a rocket. Oh, God, stop hitting everything, Taff. Right. Something you're looking for, yeah. Ah, is this the executioner? Uh, not long ago, you buried this convict. Uh, tried to get him out of the house. Uh, yeah, we've only got three in this talking skill, but Miller let's go Miller Pleshek sent me. He's very sorry, but by mistake, he didn't give you the full weight of flour last time. He says you should come and get the balance. That rogue, how much is it? Half a sack. That's nothing to sneeze at. It certainly isn't. Uh, I'll go there right away. Okay, so we've got rid of the... Uh, please take your dog. Are you going to take your dogs with you? No, we'll have a wash. There's a chicken in this um, barrel. He'll be drowning slowly, that poor chicken. Um, right, he's off. Before now, he's going. Come, on, let's come over to. Oh, we got the gibbet up here. Look at this. We'll, we'll head for the little A on the compass. Uh, the gallows hill. Uh, it's moving. It's here. Oh, is it here? Is this the grave? Yeah, start digging. Oh, we're actually digging. Oh, okay. It's not going to be a cutscene. We're actually going to dig a grave up. Oh, lovely. Let's have a look. Christ, oh. wound. Nothing on the left hand. The right? Oh, shit. There's nothing there either. Where the fuck is that ring? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, a stench makes me want to puke. Peshek will pay for this. Do you reckon it's in the... Do you reckon he's pinched it? Can we get in the house? I know we weren't going to do a thieving 
Good boy. Oh, I reckon it's there. Can we close the um? Look, doggy, doggy. Look, I've got some. I've got some food for you. Let's get rid of that. Um, you don't like salami. What about dried meat? How about that? That's good dried meat. Yeah, you, you sniff that. Goes a good boy. And we're gonna try and get in here because I think he's probably pinched half inched it, isn't he? Yes. Rob. Okay. Uh oh he hasn't. Bugger. Um oh a bludgeon though. What's the Oh we can use that. Uh, we're going to take this, because that is probably going to be... I feel a bit bad, I know. You didn't see nothing, right? You... Oh, look, I gave you some meat! Have you eaten that already? As long as those dogs don't attack us, we're okay. Although it sounds like he might be attacking us any second. Damn. Okay, let's get the next one. Where is it? It's there. Oh, damn. Dog's put me off. Come on, this third time's a charm. Third time's a charm. There it is. Oh, for God's sake. Go slower. Go slower. We've only got the lot one more lock pick now. Damn! Don't need lockpicks. Fine then. We're gonna wander off. We'll come around here now. We'll find the, the windows open or something. Can't get through there. I'm sure if he's got an expensive ring, the uh, the executioner would always take it, wouldn't he? So I'd do. Dishonest as I am. That the dogs won't know have come around the back. Oh yeah, is that chicken still in? That poor chicken still in there. I don't know what to do. Maybe I'll have to ring the uh, helpline. Can we have his hoe? Where's Mattock? Anything else? Let's have a thought. Can we get up there? Oh. Almost. Come on. Oh, we can do this. Come on. Oh, no. Careful. Come on. We can almost do this. Get up there. Oh, it's just like a... No, oh, it's like a, a store. Okay, I thought it was... We may be able to hook into the other side of the building. Um. Okay. Did you eat that meat by the... You did eat that meat. Eat my meat, and then you still bark at me. Or maybe... I think this one might have ate it, because he's... Oh, no. They're all barking now. Uh, right, we'll have to go back to Peshack and say we, we haven't found it. It doesn't look like he's got it. Um, let's just get out of here. Phew. Right, uh, how's our nourishment? 97. Let's um, see if we can... Carrot is nourishment of two, so we can have that. It's got some healing as well. Nice. Just trying to get that, as I said, that wound off. Head back down. Oh, careful. You can take full... Oh, God. A lot of full damage in this. Uh, so you got to be careful. Nettles. Get some nettle, st nettle tea. That'd be nice. Anyway, I'm going to work on that offline. Don't worry. Need to get our horse back. We have to go back to Talmberg Tal Tal and uh, get the old horse we pinched. Uh, because I don't want to be running around here because this is going to take us forever. Who's this gentleman what with the sword? What kind of trick were you trying to pull oh. last time, you cur? 
It's the executioner. Uh, never mind. Sorry, sir. Okay, we used up our time then, didn't we? You discovered the meal. I was here earlier. Why didn't I discover it then? Anyway, let's have a word with Peshak. It's just started to rain as Good well. Good health to you. Um, can you teach me to pick locks? Can you help me? There was no ring there. There was a corpse in the grave, but no ring. What the fuck is going on? Easy, Hal. Hold your horses. If the ring wasn't on the corpse, the executioner must have taken it before he buried the body. Yeah, but it wasn't in his see chest. Where this is going. You want me to get the ring from the executioner? Clever lad. Only I wouldn't recommend talking to him about it. He's a bit touchy on the subject of robbing the dead. It'd be better to pinch it from his house. Oh, I've just used up all my blooming lock picks. Okay. All right, I'll go and find that. Room. We're not going to do a thief, as I said, but on this occasion, somewhere in the house. we owe him. And look here, Henry. Do you know how to get past a lock? Get past the lock? You mean jemmy it off with a crowbar? No, you don't. I mean the delicate, gentle art of opening it quietly and with sensitivity, like popping a young maiden's cherry. Mm. I, yeah, I, I can pick a lock. Uh, I can, let's see if he gives us some training. Yeah, I haven't had a chance to try that yet. Fucking hell. How did <laughs> I get landed with a cretin like you? I'll have to teach you then. Come with me. Ah, here we go. Try unlocking this trunk. Hold the lockpick in your right hand and use it to feel out. Got it? Good. Got it. Now turn the whole lock with the blade, but don't stop holding the tumbler with the pick. Otherwise, you'll be fucked and you'll have to start all over again. You forced it and broke the lockpick. Yeah, I That did. crack could be heard in Kuttenberg. You have to watch out for that. An experienced guard will recognize the sound at once. The problem is... The um, it snaps back. If it doesn't snap back, um, it would be fine. But it snaps back, and there's no way of. It's just. This is really quite fiddly, actually. We. Yeah. So. When you press D, this goes around at a the actual metal lock itself goes around at a, a set rate, and it, it's just basically you just don't have the. I'm sure some people. Oh, I just can't get this right. I did read that a lot of people are complaining about this. Oh my god! Why can't it be here? If you could, if you could um, set the uh, how the lock, the speed that, that the lock actually um, went round. I don't have a. No, I can't talk to you. Jesus. Brilliant. Not quite, but is there any lock picks in there by any chance? Well, we failed that tutorial. Right, thanks for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. I'll, uh, as I say, now that we've opened up a little bit, I'll, um, I'll bring you some more. But um, oh wow, um, I'll do a lot of offline stuff as well. Just need to level up and get some, uh, some skills going. So I will see you next time.